If you're joining us for the first time, I recommend you take a step back and watch this video series starting with episode one. Hey everyone, JP Manuel here. We're still hanging out at Haas Brew House with my fellow SolidWorks teammates, Brian, Mark, and Earl. And we've just finished the boil phase. And what we're gonna do now is bring the wort down to the appropriate temperature before we start our next step, which is known as pitching the yeast. It is extremely important to bring the temperature of the wort down because if we pitch the yeast too soon, we may end up with undesirable flavors in our beer. Beer that we've worked so hard to create. So for this beer, we're gonna to need to bring the temperature down to about 68 degrees before we pitch our yeast. The reason for this is that as it reacts, it will naturally increase the temperature of the wort. So the closer we can get to 68 degrees, the better. And with that, one of the convenient features Earl has rigged up in his cabinet is the ability to automatically shut down the heating element as soon as the timer hits zero. This will prevent any prolonged boiling and keep our recipe precise. And if we take a look inside the cabinet, wiring this cabinet up can be pretty complicated. There are a lot of components and a lot of wires that need to be installed. Creating a schematic package that includes all these components is definitely an important piece of the puzzle. But what if we had a better visual aid to help us along the way? What if we designed a cabinet, but we're not the ones who are actually assembling it? There might be a potential breakdown in communication. What better way to show our design intent than to route all the wires in 3D? But before we can simply select the route button in SOLIDWORKS, there are a few steps we need to complete. The first step really opens up the communication between the 3D assembly and SOLIDWORKS electrical. This is where we have the option of either inserting the solid part from our electrical component, or we associate the electrical component to an existing solid part that has already been added to our assembly. Both options are viable and can be completed by someone who isn't necessarily an expert in 3D. Heck, even I can do it. Once all the associations have been made, we then need to make the solid parts electrically intelligent. By utilizing SOLIDWORKS electrical component wizard, we can add connection points directly onto each part. These connection points correspond to the schematic symbol that represents the manufacturer part. Once these connection points have been added, they're saved to the part as new features in the feature tree. This can be extremely helpful if we have multiple instances of the same part in our assembly because the connection points are only required to be created once. Once we've added the connection points to our parts, we need to create a 3D sketch on top of our assembly. This new 3D sketch will act as a guide that our wires will follow when we're ready to route. Now that our parts are electrically intelligent and the sketch has been created, we simply route the wires and let the software do everything for us. Of course, depending on how many wires we have, this could potentially take a few minutes, but it still leaps and bounds faster than trying to manually route every single wire individually in our cabinet. And once the wires are routed, now we have an amazing visual aid to help us open up communication as well as help others to visualize your design intent. Now, I don't have time to cover everything that goes into routing our wires here, but there's definitely a lot more tips and tricks that go along with routing wires as well as several other time-saving features. Just visit MySolidWorks.com and search for Electric Brewery. Do you have an idea for a SolidWorks electrical how-to video? Post a comment and the team here will work on creating a valuable video for all of our users to take advantage of. If you're a fan of Twitter, you can also follow me at SweetCat. that's S-W-E-C-A-D. We'll see you next time on Brewing with Electricity, the SolidWorks Brewery.